What's going on everybody? And welcome back to another Through the Years. And today we got another quarterback, y'all. We got Dante Culpepper representing those Minnesota Vikings. But first, we gotta go to his college days. Man at UCF, the University of Central Florida, representing those Knights. He comes in with 97 throw power, 91 throw accuracy, 72 versatility, 69 speed, and awareness was at 95. Now his numbers for that year look like this. 62% of his passes were completed. He also had 3,086 yards passing, 25 TDs, and 10 INTs. Definitely not bad, man. Moving on to NCAA, double nine. He comes in with 98 throw power, 97 throw accuracy. He also has 85 speed, 81 agility, and 98 awareness. Now his numbers look like this. 73.6 passer completion percentage. Passer completion percentage. What is that? He completed he, he completed 73.6% of his passes with 3,690 yards, 28 TDs, and he also had seven INTs. His rookie year, he played in one game, and that was to take a knee. But anyways, in Madden 2000, he was 58 overall. That's the same 58 overall that Kurt Warner had, believe it or not. 59 strength, 64, 64 agility, 59 speed, 55 acceleration, 48 awareness, 80 throw power, and a 49 throw accuracy rating. 49. Ouch. And again, he did not register a single stat except for dropping back and taking a knee to end the game. Moving on to Madden 2001, next gen back then on the PS2. He comes in at 81 overall. That's a pretty big jump, man. I'm just saying, but I'm not hating. Anyways, man, 81 overall, 68 speed, 70 strength, 62 awareness, agility is at 65, acceleration is at 62, carry is at 65, break tackles at 50, 92 throw power and throw accuracy at 7. Now his numbers for this year as he hits the big boss, Randy Moss. He had a QB rating of 97.9. He threw for 3,937 yards, 33 TDs, 16 INTs, completed 62% of his passes, went 11-5 and five as a starter. That's not bad, man, as he finds Chris Carter and all he does is catch touchdowns, baby. Chris Carter making plays, baby. Now it's time to move on to matter 2002 where he's on the cover. Look at you, Dante Cole Pepper. You on the cover, bro. 92 overall for Mr. Dante Cole's Pepper. Also comes in with 76 speed, 70 strength, 80 awareness, 75 agility, 72 acceleration, 46 carry, 74 break tackle, 98 throw power, and an 83 throw accuracy rating. Now those numbers, though, as he finds the big boss coming down with it, boy. That's Moss, and you just got Moss, bro. Now anyways, man. His completion percentage for that year was 64%. His QB rating was 83.3. He only threw for 2,612 yards, 14 TDs, 16 INTs, though. Ouch, man. He was 4-7 and seven as a starter. Only started in 11 games, I'm guessing, due to injury. NFL 2K2, again, 92 overall. Let's take, let's take a look at his attributes. You see it right there. Arm strength. Pass accuracy is on par with the best in the game. Right, they're going to find his man over the middle. Picks up a big first down. Move those changes first to go for the Minnesota Vikings. All right, man. Now it's time to move on to QB Club 2002. And they had him wearing 12. That's a crown shame, man. That's a crown shame. He hasn't worn 12 in like two years. Y'all haven't worn 12. Like, when was this game made? And they're just like, you know what? We have this game sitting here. We're going to release it in 2002, even though he made it back in, like, 99. Like, seriously? Like, come on, man. But anyways, he's 89 overall. Let's move on to Madden 2003, where he is 89 overall also. He also comes in with 73 speed, 70 strength, 76 awareness, 71 agility, 79 acceleration. Also comes in with 51 for his carry, 75 break tackle, 98 throw power, and an 84 throw accuracy rate. And taking on Brett Favre in the Green Bay Packers. Now, anyways, man, for this season right here, he came in with a QB rating of 75.3. He also threw for 3,853 yards, 18 TDs, but 23 INTs. Man, ouch. 60.7 for his passer or for his completion percentage. I don't know why I want to say passer. What's wrong with me? Anyways, man, he started 16 games and he went 6 for 10. Not the best year, but you know what? We'll forgive him. Anyways, man, NFL 2K3, he comes in at 91 overall. And, of course, it's easy for me to say I'll forgive him. I'm not a Vikings fan. 
but if he put up those numbers for the Niners, I'll be pissed. Anyways, man, moving on, 2K3, 91 overall. 77 speed, 72 agility, also comes in with 90 throw power, 80 throw accuracy, 74 read coverage, 58 for his break tackle, and then 80 intelligence or 80 awareness, as I like to call it. But right there, look at the big ball straight and most making plays. Down the sideline, inside the 10, down to the 5, he's loose. Big time play right there by Randy Moss. Check out the replay, so nice. Had to show it twice, throws over the middle. Moss comes out of nowhere, makes the crazy catch, and gets into the end zone. Moving on to Madden 04. And Madden 04 was built for quarterbacks like Mike Vick, Don McNabb, Steve McNair, Dante Culpepper, Jeff Garcia, any quarterback that can scramble and throw the ball, they went deadly in this freaking game, man. Now he was 88 overall in Madden 04 with 80 speed. 70 strength, 74 awareness, 75 agility, 66, 76, excuse me, for his acceleration, 74 his break tackle, 97 throw power, and then 81 throw accuracy. Right there, getting loose into the secondary and picks up a big first down. Now his numbers look like this. 96.4 QB rate. 3,479 yards passing, 25 TDs, 11 INTs, 65% completion percentage, went 7 for 7 as far as wins and losses because he only started in the 14 games. So it's better, but again, man, like, I was shocked. Like, I didn't know that the Vikings, like, went a while without a winning season. Just saying. Anyways, man, let's move on to ESPN 2K4. He had... Oh, my bad. He is 86 overall. I want to make sure I speak proper English, okay? Don't want to be ghetto. Anyways, man, he came in at 86 overall, 94 throw power, 80 throw accuracy. Also comes in with a 72 read coverage rating, 84 for his speed, 72 agility, 90 scramble, and then a 72 break tackle rating. He was a bad boy, man. Didn't matter if it was Madden. Didn't matter if it was 2K, didn't matter what your preference was, man. He was a pretty solid quarterback, and the Vikings were always deadly, man. Cole Pepper to Moss, one of the better duos, man, in video game history. EA Sports, it is the game, baby. Peace. Madden, NFL 2005. And of course, in real life. But Dante Cole Pepper, how is EA Sports going to be the game? It's a company, not a game, but whatever. I know where you're going with it. You, you just, you, 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 you didn't sound too smart. I'm going to just put it like that. Anyways, man, Madden 05, 93 overall, 81 speed, 72 for his uh, strength, 79 for his awareness, 77 agility, 79 acceleration, 70 break tackle, 98 throw power, and a 95 throw accuracy rating. Now, his numbers for that year look like this, a QB rating of... 110.9. He threw for 4,717 yards, 39 TDs, only 11 picks, had a completion percentage of 69.2, went 8 and 8 as a starter, started 16 games. So again, the team struggled, but Dante Copa had one fantastic year. Anyways, man, ESPN 2K5, he is 91 overall, 94 throw power, 85 throw accuracy, 80 read coverage rating, or 88 read coverage, excuse me, 84 for his speed, 72 agility, 90 scramble, and then a 72 break tackle rating. And again, connecting the dots with Randy Moss. The big boss making that play right there, getting us inside the red zone. Down to the one, Dante Copa rolls to left, fouls back across the body to Bennett, who gets it to the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. All right, man, let's move on. Madden 06 on a PS2. Dante Copa comes in at 98 overall again. I read you the stats for the year before. So, of course, he has to be one of the better quarterbacks in the game. 98 overall, 80 speed, 70 strength. 87 awareness, 82 acceleration, 63 break tackle, 7, 78 for, excuse me, 98, 98 miles, 98 for his throw power, and a 90 throw accuracy. Check out the numbers, though, man, for this here season. QB rating of 72. He threw for 1,564 yards, 6 TDs, 12 INTs, 64.4% completion percentage, went 2 of 5 as a starter, started in 7 games. 
and then he gets shipped to Miami. But before we see him in the Miami Dolphins uniform, let's check out the numbers for Madden 06. The overall stays the same at 98. 81 speed, that's one up. 74 strength, that's four up. Two down from awareness at 87 to 85. 85 acceleration, that's three up from 82. 69 break tackle, that's six up from uh, Madden on the PS2. And then, of course, same throw power and same throw accuracy. Moving on to Madden 07, playing for the Miami Dolphins. And the Dolphins finally thought they had a quarterback to replace Dan Marino after like nine years. They were wrong. Anyways, man, in Madden 07, he's 92 overall with 77 speed, 73 agility, 77 acceleration, 79 awareness, 85 vision. Also had an 85 st uh, 80 stiff form, 85 for his spin move, 85 juke, 98 throw power, and 84 throw accuracy. His numbers for that season look like this, okay? They look like this. He had a QBR. We're going to QBR now of 20.17. That's not good. Threw 929 yards, two TDs, three INTs, 60.4% completion percentage, went one of three as a starter in four games. They got rid of him so fast. So very fast, but we still love you, Dante. We still love you. Then he ended up in Oakland of all places while the Raiders were waiting on the first overall picture. Marcus Russell to sign his contract. They signed Dante Culpepper, who is 83 overall in Madden. He also comes in with 70 uh, speed, 73 strength, 70 agility, 73 accelerator, um, 73 elusiveness, 85 ball carry vision, 75 for his juke move, 95 for his throw power, 80 throw accuracy. His numbers, in case you're dying to know, he played in seven games, started six of those games. He had a he had a completion percentage of 58.1. He threw 1,331 1, yards. Yeah, five TDs, five INTs, a QBR of 32.95. Now I said that the I didn't say, but I heard. I heard. Not that I said, but I heard that the average QBR is 50. And all of his QBRs are well below. 50. Thank you, ESPN, for that. Anyways, man, if you're wondering what he did in Oakland, he went two for four as a starter. Anyways, man, Madden 09. He is 80 overall. He comes in with 65 speed, 73 strength, 70 awareness, 85 vision, 80 for his stiff form, 75 dribble, 94 throw power, and an 88 throw accuracy rating. His numbers for that year look like this. Started five games for the Detroit Lions. As you guessed it, lost all five games. He also had a, 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 a he also had a completion percentage of 52.2. He threw for 786 yards in those five games. He threw for four TDs, six INTs, and a QBR of 18.84. Yeah, not the best numbers, but Dante, we still love you. And of course, you were just holding the place for future Pro Bowl quarterback Matthew Stafford. Now, unfortunately, in Madden, oh, Madden 2010, he was still technically the starter. Even though Matthew Stafford, as a rookie, was 79 overall, Dante Culpepper was the number one quarterback on the roster, according to Madden, at 72 overall. Now, he had 70 speed, 73 strength, 69 agility, 65 awareness of 65 acceleration. I do apologize. 75 awareness, <laughs> 75 acceleration, 71 awareness, 75 for his. Uh, juke move also comes in with 90 throw power, 74 short accuracy, 66 medium accuracy, 65 deep accuracy. Numbers. He he appeared in eight games, started five of those games. As you guessed it, lost all five. He also had a completion percentage of 56.7. Threw for 945 yards, three TDs, six INTs, and a QBR as a QBR and a QBR of 28. Moving on to Madden 11, he's a free agent. So I put him back on the Vikings, why not? 71 overall as a free agent. He also comes in with 74 speed, 73 strength, 74 agility, 77 acceleration, 70 awareness, 90 throw power. He also came in with 70 short accuracy, 67 medium accuracy, 66 deep accuracy, 72 throw on the run, and then a 79 play action pass rating. For Mr. Dante's Cold Pepper, baby. Dante's Cold Pepper. So as we add up everything that I had, all the games that I had, all the games that I did, and then we divide that thing, we get an average overall of, wait for it, 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 of 80.3 overall for Dante Cold Pepper. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a blast. Hope you had a blast. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hi, sauce.